Hey everybody, it's Melanie from The Heatness Cook. For this video, I'm going to be mixing it up a little bit and I'm going to be doing just some random facts about cooking because I don't have any food, but I wanted to post something. So earlier today, I was talking with my friend Liz and we were talking about how people need to Google it. And I referenced my friend Jack or someone in Knoxville. She's really cool and she just got Google it tattooed across her hands because she's super geeky cool. So um, Liz was making fun of people that did that. And then right at the end of our conversation, she said to me, how come onions make you cry? Which I was pretty happy that I got to say. Just Google it. So the funny thing is, is I don't know why onions make you cry, but they make me cry so bad, like weeping, sobbing, death cries. And the other day I was talking to two people that went to culinary school and neither of them knew why onions made you cry. So I decided to take Liz and Jack's advice and to Google it. And I found out that it is because of this chemical that happens when you cut into the onion. This enzyme, this enzyme connects with this thing. I can't pronounce it, but I got the word for you. Can you see? Pretty intense. Bad news bears. This is what makes you cry. So um, when you cut it, the cells that aren't supposed to be touching touch. They form this terrible acid thing that goes into your eyes. So that's why you cry. There's all sorts of things that people use to keep you from crying. I've heard all sorts of things. We've tried the chilling it beforehand. That doesn't work for me. I don't know about you guys, but even when I freeze it, it doesn't work very well. Second is to um, wear goggles, which I don't have goggles. I'm not going to go spend money on them. And from what I've heard, they don't actually work well unless they make a perfect seal, and most of them don't. The other thing that I've heard is to cut them under water, under running water, which is awesome in theory, but I don't know if you tried to small dice an onion under water, it totally doesn't work. Um, I've also heard chewing gum, which may help because it forces you to breathe in and out of your mouth, and the breath keeps the fumes from coming up into your eyes. But um, all of those things, I've even heard bread in your mouth, which somehow like gets the fumes. I'm not really sure how that works, but I just want to end up eating the bread, so that doesn't really work for me. What does work for me, and the most reliable form, is to go get like a $3 fan. One of those little fans that people put on their desks in their office. What you really need to do is you need to do something that's going to keep those fumes from coming up at you. And this makes sense because when I cook in a kitchen, I don't have that same response to onions. That would make sense because they have hood vents going all the time that's going to suck all that air out. But in your kitchen, especially like me, if you have no vent and you live in an apartment, you don't have that luxury. So you need to get air moving and you need to get air moving pretty fast. So it's fast enough to whisk that, this away from your eyes. So you can get them at the dollar store. You can get them at the hardware store. I definitely think, you know, I'm not one for unnecessary gadgets, but you need onions to cook with. They're great. And I find myself dreading, you know, making onion soup or things like that because I know I'm just going to be this weepy, disgusting mess. So this is a quick solution. I'm going to put some links online about other stuff you can learn, but I hope you found that helpful. And as always, check out my website, thehedoniscook.com. Leave me your feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks.